Of course, the final test for this proper fit is to actually put the belt on. The belt should fit comfortably on the hips without being too tight. The heels of the D-rings should rest just outside the prominent bones of the hip. This is primarily for comfort when working off of a pole. The next pieces of equipment we'll look at are the climbers, or hooks as they are sometimes called. Climbers come in pairs, each consisting of a J-shaped metal stirrup, straps for attaching the climbers to the feet, and a metal spur called a gaff. Climbers are worn on the legs and the gaffs are driven into the wooden pole. Climbers support the weight of the line worker while climbing. When not climbing, the gaffs should be protected by gaff guards. Like body belts, climbers must fit properly. Some climbers are fixed lengths and ordered by size. Others, like these, can be adjusted. Let's see how to find the proper fit for these adjustable climbers. Ideally, the top of the climber should rest about an inch below the joint of the knee. This spot is easily found by placing two fingers on the inside of the leg at the bottom of the knee joint. The top of the climber should just touch the lower finger. With adjustable climbers, proper fit is determined by moving the adjustable portion of the climber up and down until the proper size is reached. Then you secure it in place with locking screws. With fixed length climbers, it's necessary to measure from the point below the knee to the top of the arch of the foot. Once the proper fit is determined, it's necessary to place pads and straps on the top portion of the climber. The pad is secured by passing a strap under one loop on the pad. Then, through a metal loop on the climber and through the remaining loops on the pad. The climbers and pads should look like this when finished. The line worker will try on the climber to check the adjustments. The final piece of equipment for climbing is the fall restraint and safety strap. A fall restraint is used to provide support for a climber when working on a pole, and a safety strap is used to aid a climber in transitioning objects on the pole. A safety strap consists of an adjustable belt and two safety snaps. Properly adjusted, a fall restraint device will keep a falling climber from falling far, if at all. Once the fall restraint device locks onto a pole during a fall, it will support the weight of the climber until he can reposition himself safely on the pole with his climbers and gaffs.